As a mother with a son who's locked up for life, he did the crime and he and he must serve his time. You can't hear him. All right. I don't want to drop it. All right, can you hear me now? As a mother with a son who's locked up for life, he did the crime and he must serve his time. When the incident happened, I was emotionally a wreck. I shut down, I didn't have no support from the system. They treated me as if I had committed the crime. Me and my family had to hide for fear of rep rep retribution. And I asked myself, where did I go wrong? What happened in my son's life that changed a, a well-rounded black man to commit such a horrible crime? I searched for answers high and low. Then it came to me. This system is so racist and unequal that a young black man that never ever got in trouble with the law, one that graduated from college, one that held down two jobs to take care of his kids, a grown man that I could find no one to, to say anything negative about him. People called him the mayor of Providence, well liked by everyone he touched. How could he end up in jail for life? I went to counseling and it was said that African Americans don't check on their mental health. That means thousands of black men are walking around with mental health issues brought on by a system that is designed to hold us down and make life harder and to wreck havoc on our mental health. It's like a time bomb kicking you never, and you never know what's going to be best off. I never suspected that my son had mental health issues. He never seen it coming. I would like to bring awareness to mental health and and it is silent, it's a silent disease. You can be on top of your game and not, and not know you have mental health issues. I urge everyone to check on their mental health. If you have kids, take care of them for, for an assessment on their mental health. It can happen to anyone, especially if you are a minority. Remember the laws are made to destroy us slowly. Why haven't the government made it mandatory for people to get free mental health assessments, especially people of color, since we go through so much trauma trying to live normally in a country that is not designed for us. We need to demand mental health for assessment for everyone, filing inmates for illnesses, and if they can't get the care of their mental health early, they would be locked up. Most mental health issues can be treated. Why doesn't the state invest in health care and resources for us instead of prisons? We need to divest from prisons and invest in community. Thank you.